Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this session today we are going to see how we can set up the Appium in the Mac operating system from scratch. So at this moment in this particular machine we don't have any setup for your Android, iOS or Appium. There is nothing really present at this moment as you can see if I'm typing Appium it says that command not found. So in our previous sessions we have seen how to migrated our Appium from 1.x to 2.x then we have installed the drivers, Android setup, iOS setup everything we have done that but uh, because I have I have got a new machine and then I just wanted to discuss about that but instead of again repeating the same steps which we did what today I'm going to do I will be using a npm package that is called as appium installer now this is one of the what do you call npm package that is contributed by Sai Krishna and Srinivasan now this gives you a kind of an option to kind of uh, step by step what exactly is needed for your uh, Android setup, iOS setup and then couple of uh, IPM, uh, NPM packages that you need to install. Now this is what actually I have listed out what are the minimum prerequisite that is required to set up Appium and then to get started with a particular code. So you can see for Android the main thing is that Android Studio or Android command line tool that you have to set it up because there are like commands like ADB command, emulator, SDK manager and then AVD. So all these things are pretty much required if you want to set up with your Android simulators, but if you want to just uh, test your uh, app, uh, what do you call your testing your application with Appium on your real devices, then you just need to install the or set up the Android SDK and then the ADB command. The same thing for iOS simulators, you need the Xcode setup, okay, and then for Appium. Because it is Appium 2.x, you need the Appium server, drivers, plugins and the Appium doctor and Appium inspector. So these are the pretty much different things that you need to set it up. So today we are going to set up all these things step by step by using this particular installer. Okay, as a prerequisite you have to make sure that you have to download a couple of things uh, beforehand. For an instance, if you want to go with the Android uh, Studio uh, to create your simulators or to upgrade your Android OS inside your simulators, then I would suggest to install or to download this particular Android Studio package. You can see that for Windows, for Mac and for Linux and also from Chrome, Chrome OS. If you are using the Apple, the Intel chip, then you have to download this DMG file. If you are using M1, M2, the after 2021 model where silicon chip or M1, M2, then you have to go for the ARM DMG. So for handy, I have downloaded this one actually here, the Android Studio and the command line tool. Pretty much you don't need this one if you are using this installer, but I will let you know where exactly you need to install this one from here. This is a zip file, command line. This command line you have to download from here. If you scroll down a bit, three different platforms it is available. The only challenge with this is that it will give you only the SDK only, the Android SDK. But if you want to go for set up your ADB or like your simulators or emulators, you need to use the SDK manager command with couple of options, which is pretty uh, bit technical, but you can just go into this location and you can get it uh, whenever there is a need. Okay. And last but not least the Xcode. Now the Xcode you can go to this particular location in uh, developers.apple.com. You have to uh, what do you call sign in with your Apple account. If you don't have you can just sign up it is free of cost. And if you navigate to this particular location you will get the Xcode. When you download this this will be in XIP format. You just need to double click that. It will take some time and it will come as application here. That's pretty much it. So okay, these are the couple of things. Now let's straightly get into this Appium installer and try to follow the documentation here. So what I'm going to do, I'll just open this one, uh, my command prompt, and then I will run this one. And this is useful for your Windows, uh, Mac or Linux, whichever environment. The only thing you need to make sure that if you are using Windows or Linux, you cannot set up the iOS. iOS is only meant for your Mac operating system. So let's wait for some time and this will install the Appium installer.
So as you can see the appium installer got uh, installed. Now we need to follow this particular command to follow the steps that it is going to let us know. So I'm just going appium installer and you can see it is giving couple of prompt options here. You can just put up and down arrow key in your keyboard to select a particular option. Now I want to start with setting up my Android environment. So I will just click on enter to choose that. And here you can see that it is saying the Android underscore home environmental variable is not set. So it is asking you the option where you want to want the Android SDK setup. At this moment, I don't have Android SDK. I simply downloaded the command line tool or the studio and I kept it, but I haven't installed that. So as I told, if it is installing by this IPM installer automatically, you don't need to worry about that. And it is saying that where you want to install or where you want to download this particular SDK. Now, because it is Mac, it is suggesting my user location. If it is Windows or Linux, it will be giving the specific location there. So I'm just choosing the default like users, my user folder, library, Android SDK. So I'll just say enter. And after that, it is asking that you want to set this up for your real device or the simulators. Now, let me say that a couple of you are worked into the real device. You don't want to really set it up for the Android simulator. For them, let's choose the real device. And then it is saying that couple of things are not yet set like Android Home, ADB. For sure, we haven't downloaded anything. We are just selecting. And it is telling that, do you want to download this missing binaries? Yes. So it is already selected. You can see the left arrow and you just need to click on enter only. And it is downloading the command line tool, which I have shown in that download. So if you see here, this one actually it is trying to download. So as you can see, the command line already uh, downloaded and it is telling couple of things. Like one thing is that it's saying the Android home is not set up into your uh, system variables, but it given you an option here into the dot environmental variable or uh, as a file actually. Now let's see where is this file. Now if you come back to this user folder, right? And let me go into the column view and here it is, this is my uh, user folder like initially when you open it there won't be any hidden folders but if you want to display the hidden folders control shift then greater than symbol and you can see there is a dot env file let's open it into the sublime text so i'll just go always open and it is giving me the path of that so i will be taking this one and it's telling that please make sure uh, no sorry this one please set this environmental variable into a system variable now where is my system variable now this is a g cell right you can see gsh actually i'm using here like if i just go to a new tab here you can see that it's a gsh so g cell actually but sometimes you guys might have the uh, basc uh, bas command uh, terminal you would have installed so base profile so whichever respective uh, system variables in windows you can go to the uh, my computer properties there you can set up your environmental variables in my case it is gshrc so i will right click and then open with the sublime text and here I will be just saying that Android home and then I will be providing this path. I will show you this path as well where it downloaded that one. So I will open my spotlight and then I will just paste this one and let's see. Now this is the path actually and you can see that couple of things it is already downloaded. This is nothing but again the same folder which I have uh, the downloaded thing which I did right. So for time being, I'm just keeping it handy. Now here, see, this is only a variable, but I need to append to my path also. So I will copy this line and update it. So here, instead of my M2 home, here I will be doing this one, Android home. Now there are a couple of things that you need to do here to set it up. The other thing is that you need to go with here, you can see, platform tools now platform tools is also one more uh, directory it is coming so i will be setting that up as well now it is telling that uh, everything is set it up now let's see what else is uh, required now here it is telling 
making sure that ADB is running. Now the ADB server is running. Now what is ADB? ADB, let's do this. I will let you know. So here ADB is nothing but it's a command line actually option where which you can use it to get your device name. Let's say you have connected your real device into your laptop and now by using this ADB device you can get the name of your real device or if you have opened a simulator launched your simulator you want to know what is the name so you can use this okay. Now I will again click on this particular need help setting Android environment and I will say real Android device setup and here you can see that so ADB is now set it it's saying that uh, verifying the setup so here it is saying a success it means that it, the ADB is already handled I think if I open a new cell right probably I will try to do ADB devices and you can see that uh, okay maybe I have to create a new instance of the terminal then the ADB is coming so it means that if you are using real device for your Appium testing, you just need to do the setup till this much only, whether it is Windows or Mac. Okay, now let's say that a couple of you might not be using this Android for your real device, but you want to go for the your simulators. Okay, let's choose that option. And it is asking that, okay, in that emulator, do you want to set up any browsers? Of course, not at this moment. So I will say none. And then it is telling you a couple of other things you need to set it up. One is emulator. Emulator is basically where you can create the emulators with a specific version, specific models of your Android de devices. Platform, this is basically used to install, download or upgrade your Android OS so that you can install that in your simulators. Nightwatch, it is just an option it is giving by this particular tool, Appium installer, so that you can any simulator that you will launch it or cre by creating a simulator and launch it that will have an android 11 as a pre-built os that's it so at this moment i just want to set this emulator and platform so i it's asking that do you want to download this missing binaries uh, the yes is already selected so i will just enter it and let it install all the required options and if I go here, right, while it is downloading, let me show you one thing. And if I go to this library, Android SDK, you can see before the emulator option was not there, but now it is coming because it is downloading that emulator. Okay, so let's wait for some time. Okay, so as you can see, it is uh, already downloaded here, couple of things and you can see there are two things that it uh, added now, the emulator and the command line tools. Now this command line tool is nothing but the one that we downloaded. So instead of keeping that there, right, I can simply keep it into this particular location in my uh, here itself. So I will do a control C. Okay, here I can simply paste it. So you don't need to worry about that. So I can simply copy paste here and then here this command line here latest whatever it is there I'll just move to bin so no need to worry about that okay so here you can see there is a bin folder is there which is holding the SDK manager ABD manager and then the same thing you have this emulator here okay now there are a couple of things that you need to add into your system variables as well so let me show you that so we have added the Android home, then the platform tools, right? Before to this, right? Before to this platform tools, two setups we need to do. One is actually this bin folder so that all the binaries, whatever it is there, oops, not this one, the binary as a bin folder. So where is that? So here you can see SDK bin folder. So here bin and then after that, I need to take another one here. And this is this emulator actually. So here I'll say emulator, emulator or emulators. Let's see emulator. That's it. You just need to do this much and then you save it. That's it. Now let me do one thing actually. So I will control C. See anytime you can close your terminal and you can reopen a new terminal. Don't worry about that. The Appium installer will 
start from where it is actually there so it means that every time you can just reset it so need help with android environment yes enter and then a real device anyway we did now android emulator and browsers none okay so the reason here avd manager is uh, it's saying that it is not present the reason is that if you see this it is expecting the avd manager to be into this cmd line command line tools but what happened i have removed from that command line tools this folder right i deleted that from here to here actually i have put it so that's why it is not able to find it out but you need not to worry about that because i removed from that location to here the avd manager still present here so that is fine now nightwatch android 11 don't worry about that these things you can even install by using this sdk manager command so if you come to this location here if you scroll down you can see sdk manager package options like for an instance let's say sdk manager and then you want to install the android 13 os so you can even install by using this command but i would suggest if you are using the simulator right then do not use the command line it is bit technical sometimes you will be ending up with different problems so i would suggest to go for the android studio download actually this will give you a nice what do you call ui to update your android sdk to update your operating system to create different models of your simulators but if you are just stuck with your android real device then anyway we have seen that how to use this command line tool in fact you don't really need to install this one you can use this particular android appium installer and you should be good fine now let me get into the your ios setup now here i will choose this one now it is asking that do you want to go for real device or the ios simulator let's say that first i want to go for the real device so i'm just showing you couple of options may not be all the options i will be navigating but it shouldn't be a problem you will definitely after this session you will be in a position to get into any kind of option real device or simulators appiums everything that you will be installing and you can see that when i choose this real device right i got couple of errors here one thing is that it is telling the device is not connected i haven't connected any iphones iphone devices or tablets into this machine that's why it is giving this error so it is also detecting that but if you would have connected then you have to set this up for the first time where you have to go to the your iphone go to the settings there you have to go to the safari option advanced you need to enable the remote automation then whatever the apps you installed into your uh, real device you can run the appium test cases into that fine so if, the, if it is a real device you don't need to worry about that you can just follow these two steps and you should be good fine but your app has to be pre-installed into your real device but let's say that you don't have a real device so what you need to do you need to come back here now let's see what are the different things required for your ios simulator so i will click on enter and it ended that by giving couple of errors here okay so one thing is that it is detecting that the xcode is not installed so no need to worry about that as i told to install the xcode you need to go to this location download it and which will be like this zip file now once you double click that you will get this xcode i would suggest to copy this xcode into your applications folder for your handy and then once you copy paste that right then you need to make sure that the path here you can see applications xcode app this content should be exist there and it it will be look into couple of command line tools as well with the xcode so once it is copy pasted we will try to open that xcode and try to see that how we can open a simulator there okay so let's pause for a moment till this will be copy pasting into the application folder okay seems like it is already done so let me go to this go and then go to this application and just double click it and then you can see that the editor is like this here it is coming okay so now let's open the command prompt and because it is ended the uh, what do you call the package right i will be reinitiating that um, 
uh, utility and then here I will be moving down and choose this iOS environment and I will go for simulator and you can see the Xcode is installed great all the requirements are done you can go ahead and run your test sometimes it might throw some error where it is not able to find out the Xcode so what you can do you can go back to this Xcode and then open it here go to the settings and you can go to the location and here you can choose you can see now I have two different versions one is actually which is going from application this one is probably from my installation directory uh, like from where I have downloaded this so like if I go to this download right here you can see which I can simply go uh, say that move to bin so that I will have only one instance and that is from application Xcode and you all know already how to really get that simulator you can simply go to this Xcode and here uh, to this developers and you can click on the simulator and now if you see this settings right here and if you go to this platforms it has is already the iOS 16.2 version if you want to add any new version that is coming in future or any existing version you can click on this uh, plus button iOS and you can choose any one of these uh, options uh, iOS options to download that you can simply download and uh, install make sure that this takes really huge space on your machine so before you are downloading a specific uh, OS into your machine you should have enough of space okay so at this moment the Android and iOS setup is done okay now you can see that I skipped a couple of options into the Android setup because of the Android studio download and all those things but because we have already discussed these things so I'm not really getting it it would become a long session so but you can I will put that link into this description you can follow that one okay fair enough now the final session we are coming into the Appium session now where we need couple of things into the Appium one is Appium server now other one is the driver plugin now because uh, they have all segregated all these things right the Appium server is segregated from drivers the driver is segregated from uh, your plugins because of the Appium 2.0 changes so we will be installing one by one now let's choose the install Appium server and click on enter okay so as you can see that the IPM got in, IPM server got installed which is 2.0 66 beta version but no need to worry about that they are suggesting to move out from 1.x to 2 version okay because that is the way forward okay so I'm moving down to my IPM drivers I'm choosing that option by clicking on enter and it will ask me that what are the different drivers that you want to download now Appium provides couple of these options you can see these are different uh, Appium drivers that different uh, contributors have provided into different packages and you need to click on space actually to select it's kind of a checkbox you can see I'm pressing checkbox UI automator 2 for your Android test now I'm moving down with the down key arrow and then I'm clicking on space bar to select the XQA test now if you have selected multiple options then you just need to click on enter to download those drivers so let's wait for some time so that it will install these drivers okay so it seems like everything else is installed here now let's choose again the third option that is the plugins now plugins are set in utilities that the contributors are providing to make your appium testing easy like uh, it gives you some inbuilt or ready-made methods so that you don't need to really spend lot of time to write the same logic now let's choose that and click on enter and here you can see again they are giving couple of these options where you can simply go at this moment I'm not going to discuss all these things but I would just showcase you a couple of things that I want to try one is uh, uh, Appium weight plugin so now this gives you an utility where if you install this plugin it auto weights for your Appium locator strategies so spacebar to select that and then there is a Appium gestures plugin which I want to install as well by clicking on spacebar now this is basically to reduce the number of lines of code and it implements all the Appium gestures like your uh, long press uh, drag and drop or like scroll and all those things so I will click on enter to install that as well now it is asking from where you want to install it I would say that from npm package directly
So these are pretty much like lightweight plugins, so it installed uh, quickly. Now the final thing is that uh, run IPM uh, doctor. Now let's see what exactly this does. So uh, I will just choose this one and click on enter. So here it's asking you option Android iOS dev. I think dev is for both Android and iOS, but let's just choose one by one. So I will choose Android. And let's see what are the different things that it is. So Appium Doctor basically checks if all the prerequisite to run your Appium test on Android devices is set up or not. So here you can see the Android Home is not set up. Java Home is not set up. And uh, this uh, ADB, Android emulator, all these things could not be found because Android Home is not set. Don't worry about that. We have already set this Android Home and adb and everything is fine i as i said that i have copy pasted the uh, command line tools directory into the common folder right sdk that's why it is not able to detect but java home is something which i haven't set i will show you that here you can see java home is not set so i will make sure that the java home is also set up on my machine so java is installed actually but it is not yet set up actually here so if you go to this location right let me show that so i will go to spotlight and i can show you that here you can see in this home folder i have everything here so and you can see in the bin folder i will have the java so that's it i think pretty much you just need to do these many things only to set it up and then you can use anywhere to deal with the android things now let's choose the appium doctor again click on enter but this time i'm going to go for the ios okay as you can see the ios setup is pretty much done and here just one error it is showing that Carthage was not found now the Carthage is really required if you are using the appium 1.20 server only uh, above to the Appium server 1.20, you don't really need this Carthage. So I should be pretty much good with that. You can see all the Xcode command line tools, Xcode, everything is set up. So you don't really need to worry about that. And then run Appium doctor is done. Now launch Appium, uh, the, your simulators and emulators. If you have any Android simulators already set up, you can use that. Now at this moment, okay, it's already set up for me, the Android 11. So if I click on enter, it will launch the simulator, the Android simulator. But at this moment, I don't want to really do that. So I will click on uh, control C and then I should be done with that. So you can again, anytime, if you want you and you if you feel like you're missing any of the setting or configurations appium installer is your way to get into this and try to understand what are the different problems now i would suggest to combine this appium installer with this documentation now here if you see i have already written a blog here how to set up java maven and then different plugins for your form.xml and i would suggest to follow this many things this many blog logs or we have already put the uh, the video demos also into the youtube video so you can get into that in case if any of the errors that you are not able to understand there so I would suggest to give a star actually into this particular Appium installer. They have really spent a lot of time into understanding the pain points of the Appium folks or the testers who face that challenge and then they have given that. If you find any issues or any suggestions, you can go to this issues tab and you can uh, put your bug bugs or discussion points there. So I think that's pretty much it for today. Hope this session is helpful if you are using a Windows, Linux or Mac operating system and you, you want to start from the beginning. And if you face any challenges, please do let me know so that we can discuss later. Okay, so stay tuned and do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.